Hey there. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Mundia, and uh, I think this is my first uh, tutorial ever. And um, today we're going to look at uh, weaving. So weaving is a uh, uh, a method uh, of textile production. Okay, which um, uh, in in which uh, two two distinct uh, set of yen, two distinct set of yen uh, or thread are interlaced. Okay, they are interlaced at a right angle. Okay, uh, to form fabric or a cloth. Okay, so this is uh, what I'm going to show you. So, um, what I mean by interesting, you have, you have, let's say, you have this uh, as 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 your thread. So we have. Uh, okay, let me just put it like this. Let me just put my hand like this. So uh, these are are the threads that I'm talking about. So let's say this is uh, the yen or the threads. So uh, these uh, threads going. Uh, uh, vertically like this up and down at right angle uh, these are what is known for, uh, as uh, uh, warps so these are warps okay so uh, we have uh, this other set of yen which is going to interest so it will go like uh, under over under and over like that so if uh, this process continues you find that all this interesting here what you what will happen here is that we are going to bond uh, these uh, warps and uh, and the waves together then uh, repeatedly at the end they are going to form what is uh, yeah you, they are going to form uh, a piece of fabric or uh, yeah or a cloth so uh, if you look at uh, uh maybe let me show you this uh paper thing that i made okay so this this looks uh you know disorganized like so this is just to give you an idea of uh, what is happening so if you look at uh, uh threads these threads going up like this these are my uh, are my warps so if you look at these other threads they are going over and under over and under the warps uh to form uh uh, a fabric so these are just made out of paper all right so with me here i think uh I'd like to talk about just the possible materials that you need as a weaver okay so what you need as a weaver i think the, the most common ones are uh, cotton you you need cotton you need uh, linen sometimes uh, you also need uh, linen or, or wool uh, so these you find that these are the most common type of natural uh, fibers traditionally used by a weaver you see so in uh, on the other hand uh, you may also need uh, acrylic and uh, and nylon yen okay uh, if you're available uh, some yen is uh, also a combination of uh, man-made, uh, a combination of man-made and some yen, uh, yeah, they are a combination of man-made and natural fibers. Okay, so if uh, this combination is done, you find that uh, a weaver is going to uh, get the advantage of both the man-made and the, and, and, and the natural, right, so you know uh natural is always is always the best so if you also uh, combine it with man-made well uh what you get there is actually something that is that is to your advantage so uh maybe on the other hand let me also talk about the the tools uh weavers use you know i'm just going to mention at least eight of them okay uh, there are a, a number of them okay there are a number of them but uh, i'll just mention eight i think eight or so so we have uh, what is known as a uh, uh, a frame loom a frame loom is uh, one of the uh, the tools used so i uh, made uh, a frame loom uh, here uh, 
in, in, in my studio so i'll just show you the sample of what i made uh this was okay this was a, this was a screen for my you know for my screen printing uh thing but uh on on the other side i decided to come up with the with the uh, a loom so that i can also demonstrate to my pupils uh that uh yeah sometimes we can just improvise you know you have uh two in one okay two in one two in one two <laughs> you know you know what i mean anyway. yeah so this is a, a room that i made a loom that i made so i have a frame and the nails uh, uh on uh, opposite sides okay on parallel sides like this so uh if you look at this when that i have this maybe a number of nails here uh 29 or 30 something like that so you find that uh, if i go on the other side i'll have maybe the equal number of nails uh, on the other side remember i'm working on something which is uh uh at, at right angle which means even these things are they're, they're supposed to be measured or something so that they are colliding so a number of uh, nails I, i'll have on a uh, uh, or let me say part a should be the same with the part b so uh with these nails maybe uh we can start the first uh round which is uh, uh the warps which will run uh vertically like this all right so when we go to the next uh uh two it's a pity i didn't make uh yeah this i couldn't find one but uh i'm thinking of coming up coming up with one this is uh, a tapestry needle a tapestry needle is important for a weaver uh you also need uh, uh yeah let me pick this here um yen okay the with the warp yen okay you also need uh a shed stick and uh, a weaving cob comb Weaving comb and uh, a pair of scissors would be an added advantage. Uh, weaving yen, you need weaving yens. Uh, in some cases, you also need uh, dowels. Okay, all right. So, why, why is it? How how is it useful? So weaving uh, is uh, is a critical process that turns a raw material such as cotton as i mentioned cotton and uh, it's yen into uh, a fabric uh, that can be made into useful products such as clothes bed sheets you know what i mean blankets the kettles okay so this is important and weaving is one of the ancient practice one of the ancient craft uh, practice one of the ancient craft action okay so it was i think there uh, uh as early as the days of adam and eve <laughs> if i'm not mistaken okay that's that's just my thinking you know um you know what happened to those guys when they realized that they were naked blah 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 those stories that we you know yeah they decided to uh to to, to come up with some uh, you know clothes so that they can cover themselves and also this weaving was uh also there um yeah in the prehistoric uh where people would uh, weave uh some uh, leaves yeah and, and twigs in order to come up with uh, uh fences okay they would build their fences they would build their houses using this same technique so this is one important technique so just uh maybe to run you through of uh, how this weaving is done i'll just lift this 